Okay, so in this uh, video, I'm going to talk a little bit about cancers. So in the previous lecture, we discussed mutations and how mutations can be brought on um, by you know lifestyle choices, or they can be inherited if the mutation occurs in the sex cell. Um, we also talked about some examples of genetic disorders like Tay-Sachs disease and cancer and diabetes and a few others. We should watch some short clips uh, about it. And so now we're going to talk a little bit about cancer because cancer can also result from mutations. Um, so uh, in your notes, there's a line here for C for a pedigree. I don't spend too much time on pedigrees here because we spent quite a, f a few uh, lectures analyzing pedigrees, making pedigrees. Um, but remember that a pedigree is a diagram of family relationships that show how traits get passed from one generation to the next. So it's a tool that we can use to show patterns of inheritance. Okay, so I'm not going to talk too much about that. Okay, so going on to cancer. So cancer is a genetic disorder, and what it does is it, it affects the cell cycle. Really what cancer is, is it's uncontrolled cell division. These cells, they just don't stop dividing. They just continue to divide and to divide, even though they're not ready um, you know, they don't, they, to go on from G1 to S to G2. They just kind of put the pedal to the metal and go through the cell cycle as fast as possible. And as a result, you have this uncontrolled growth of cells that can you know, eventually form tumors. And what cancer really is, is it pinches healthy cells to death because it crowds them. Um, the zodiac sign for cancer is a crab. So think of you know, cancer as like the pinchers. They, they basically pinch healthy cells to death. Now cancer can be caused by carcinogens, okay? chemicals that cause mutations like nicotine, um, ultraviolet radiation, nuclear radiation, x-rays. Um, you know, you can inherit genes that are mutated that could be associated with cancer, but that doesn't mean that you will end up with cancer. Um, so really, I would say cancer caused by uh, carcinogens. So I'm in the video or in the Google Classroom, um, I'll put down the username and password so you can watch the brain pop on cancer. It's just chock full of nice information about cancer and what it all really entails. So uh, that does it for this lecture. Really short lecture, just two slides of notes. We finished reading section 5.3, um, and then you have these, these questions. Now, these questions right here, it says, what are some genetic disorders? You know, if you go to the last page of section 5.3, you know, you, those are some solid answers right there. Um, what is a genetic disorder? You can find that in yesterday's notes or the previous lecture notes. Uh, what's an example of a disease caused by a mutation? And keyword here, during a person's lifetime. Okay, um, so like they're not born with it, it, it arises. Name two ways a disease can form. You might find it in the previous lecture, like underneath mutations. And then today, what is characteristic of all cancers? Please look at today's notes. Okay, so that does it. Uh, please get those e-questions in. And I will just end it here. Okay, bye.